Okay, you guys, this is half one done in an hour and a half. This is, is our other half that we are going to start on. I am starting off with blow dried hair. I just filmed that video for you guys, so it's going to be linked somewhere. Um, but let's keep on rolling. I'm either going to put you guys on some music or talk to you guys over some music in about three, two, one. Okay, you guys, the first thing you are going to need is a rat tail comb or your parting tool of choice. I will let you guys know now that when it comes to parting on myself, especially with small braids and small parts, I take my time, but I'm not anal because one, I would be here all day looking back and forth between two mirrors and or two. If you just start off your first part correctly and then follow that part as you continue on with braiding, the braids come out just fine as you guys saw on my thumbnail. Um, but I will show you how I part the first braid on the other half of my head after I do this braid. But all this to say, don't waste your time parting unless you have the time to part. So when you decide on how small you want your braids, make sure that when you are parting a section, the first half of the hair is your preferred size. Then the second part, the back part, is going to be the half of the size or have half of the hair that the first part has. So essentially, as you are parting your hair from front to back, the hair included in the first part should be larger than the hair you're including in the back part. So as you go from front to back, your part should get smaller. This is especially important when you are in your middle braid section. Doing this step ensures that you don't overcrowd your neck. So once you are done parting your braid, you are going to prepare your braiding hair. Comment down below if you want to know exactly which braiding hair that I use, but it doesn't really matter. So you're going to need two pieces of hair for your middle section. The first piece is going to be small, and the second piece is going to be double the size of the first piece. This is because of the way I parted my hair in the beginning. So once that's all done, you're going to take your grease, your jam, your edge control, whatever you do to keep your parts and your hair crisp, you're going to go ahead and add that to every which way so that when you start to braid it lays down crisp and it holds. So when I begin my cornrow, I first start off as normal without any feeding in or any added hair. I do this for about three, four times. You can definitely just use your own preference. And then once I am ready, I'm going to go ahead and add the small piece of braiding hair.
So once I reach the second half of the braid, that's when I will take the second bigger piece of braiding hair and feed that in the back as well. So after you add your first piece of braiding hair, two of the three parts of a braid will have added hair and one will be naked. Make sure you are adding the second piece of braiding hair to the naked part of the braid so you don't have to borrow hair later on um, once you reach the back of the braid. And I will show you how I borrow hair later in this video. For this hairstyle, because the braids are so small, you only are going to need to feed in once or twice. I feed in twice for my middle braids and I feed in once for my side braids, which I'm about to start right now. So for the second side of my head, this is going to be very important just like how I did on the other side. So unlike the middle braids, the parting of the first braid on either side can and should be uniform in size because we are doing um, small braids. When you part this first braid, you want to make sure that you're wrapping your part around your ear. You do not, I repeat, you do not want to take this part down to your neck. This is a common mistake and will lead to an overcrowded neck, which will look crazy. <laughs> So you're about to see that my part is not perfect, but it's small and wraps around my ear. So once I have my part, I'm going to prepare a small piece of braiding hair and then I'm going to start my cornrow and then feed in the braiding hair after about three rows. So because we are only feeding in one piece of hair, two of the three parts of the braid will have added hair and one will be naked. Once you get to the end of the braid, you're going to borrow some braiding hair from one of the other parts and add it to the naked piece shown here. So after you're done braiding, you're going to apply mousse and wrap it up with those black wraps. This step is a true game changer. This is like my third time doing this and, it, and it's like changed the game for when I do my braids. They last so long. So I mean, it's not a necessary step, but it's definitely a recommend a recommended step.
Okay, we're gonna leave this on until I finish packing because I'm going on a trip in two hours and I have not packed yet. So I'll be back once I'm finished and then swooping, swooping my edges. Okay, you guys, this is the final, final look. And I'm in love, period. Wow.